I'm Lei, and welcome to my art channel. Today is a bit different. I mean, not that last week's video wasn't different since I created art with eyeshadow and makeup. Uh, today is different-er in that I'm going to be looking at my Wii art book collection and discussing purchasing art books. I thought this would be good timing since we're in the holiday season and you might be looking for gift ideas for artists. I do have three books yet to arrive. Bailey J's book, which I hope to post a review on when it does show up, Loish's latest art book, which I kickstarted and don't expect until mid-2018, and Danica Sill's Inktober art book, also a kickstarter, which I expect either this month or the next. Which brings me to my first point. Art books are expensive, especially in Canada versus American pricing, and I'm sure in other places too. The upside is that often artists will have Kickstarters where you can get a better price on a book than direct from the publisher or even on Amazon. This isn't the case for all art books, but it's something to keep an eye out for. Often Kickstarter is a cool way to find art books or graphic novels by artists you may not have heard from too. Another upside to Kickstarter is that backing a book that does well means stretch goals, which are often in the form of additional stickers, cards, or prints added to your order at no extra cost. Another option is to buy direct from the artist, which brings me to this book by Audra Eau Claire, which is something of an illustrated journal of her time in Japan. She no longer prints these, but many artists will self-publish art books at really decent prices. This way, you're directly supporting an artist. Some artists also self-publish coloring books, which is a brilliant gift option for non-artist friends too. Everyone loves coloring books, right? The first art book I ever purchased was Painting with Watercolors, Oils, and Acrylics by Hazel Harrison. I don't think it's in print any longer, though you can buy it used on Amazon, apparently, but it brings me to another point. How-to books are always fun, especially how-to books on mediums you don't know anything about. I purchased this book as a teenager and never really touched watercolor until the past couple of years. I have barely painted in acrylic, and I've never painted in oil. But reading about mediums I don't have experience in makes me want to try them. Which brings me to another how-to book. 3D Total Publishing releases a ton of beautiful art books, including Loish's, and this one appealed to me for obvious reasons if you know anything about my art. The Beginner's Guide to Digital Painting in Photoshop, Characters. I have yet to really delve into this one as I haven't been focusing on much digital painting lately, but it is a gorgeous, comprehensive book about both character design and digital painting. From the back flap, it covers posing characters, choosing the correct costumes, conveying emotions, and creating suitable moods. The tutorials are incredibly in-depth. As mentioned, 3D Total Publishing also released Loish's first art book, and I believe they're releasing her second as well. If you aren't familiar with her work, Loish, or Lois van Baarle, is a Dutch artist who creates these stunning, expressive digital paintings, often featuring feminine characters with a ton of personality and mood. She's become this absolute phenomenon online, starting on DeviantArt and growing from there. The Art of Loish, A Look Behind the Scenes, is a really stunning book covering Loish's art going back from her early Oakaki days up until now. It discusses everything from choosing colors, to what her workspace is like, to where she finds inspiration, and even a couple full tutorials. Of all the books, I almost think I would recommend this one most of all because everyone loves Loish. It's such a gorgeous book. Her latest Kickstarter, The Sketchbook of Loish, is available for pre-orders as well. I will include the link to that as well as all the other books I've mentioned in the description box below. This last book is another huge artist. 
Camila Derrico's pop painting inspiration and techniques from the pop surrealism art phenomenon. This is another case of reading about a medium I don't work in. In this case, Camila works predominantly in whole bean duo, which are water soluble oils. Her work is vibrant, surreal, and very anime inspired. Oh, and ridiculously cute. There are some great tips and tricks in this book, as well as step by step looks at her process. These are all the art books I have at the moment, and I do love them all. Some are more specific to a particular kind of artist, some would be loved by really any artist, but I gotta leave it up to you to decide which book would be best for the artist in your life. If you do have any questions at all, feel free to comment down below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. I hope this helped. Please give it a like if you enjoyed the video, and please subscribe for more art videos from me every Friday. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!